In this training video, I'm going to show how to connect to a terminal server or any remote desktop enabled computer using the remote desktop connection program. That program can be found on any Windows XP, Vista, or Server 2003 or 2008 computer. Macintoshes can have it installed, same with Linux, uh, but they're not there by default. They have to be added on Macs and on Linux machines. Uh, there's also a remote desktop connection program available for Windows 2000 and Windows uh, 98. Uh, on Windows XP and 2003, the remote desktop program can be found on Start, Programs, Accessories, Communications. Here it is. If you're going to be using it frequently, probably a good idea to put it on the desktop as a shortcut or in the Quick Launch menu. To do that, you just right-click, drag it to the desktop, and tell it to copy. And now we have a shortcut to the remote desktop connection on the desktop. We're going to open it up and put in the name of the computer we want to connect to. If you were connecting to your own desktop or to some other uh, machine, you'd put in the name of that machine. In this case, we're going to be connecting to the Tor Group's terminal server. There are a lot of options available here, um, but we're going to keep it simple today, and we won't be covering those. Click Connect. And here it's going to ask for our username and password. I've already connected from this machine, so it's going to fill in my username for me. A lot of users get confused with this box here because sometimes it'll say the name of the computer they're actually connecting to. But the user accounts aren't stored there. They're stored on a directory server, and this is the name of the directory server, FHCRC. So if you tried to log in to the local machine, it would check for user account there, and it would fail, and it would look like this. Make sure username and domain are correct. I'm going to change it to FHCRC. and it loads my terminal server desktop. Now there's two ways to disconnect when you're done working. The first is to click this X up here. Uh, but doing that doesn't actually close your programs. It just ends the session. Anything that you had open and running continues to, continues to run, which is fine if you're leaving for lunch or something of that nature. You need to have your applications continue to be open. Uh, but in some cases, the developers may need to update the databases or the tables or other files. Um, or there may be maintenance on the server, uh, in which case you'd want to log off. And to do that, you go to the Start menu and click Log Off. Uh, it uh, bears repeating that you should always save your programs with some degree of regularity. Because in certain cases, um, users may disconnect and have their applications open. And then the server may need to go down for maintenance. In most cases, those programs and files will get closed gracefully and, and all the data will get saved, but uh, infrequently um, that doesn't happen and data can be lost. So make sure you save your files. This is the older version of the remote desktop program. Uh, I believe it's called RDP5. In another video, I will cover the new version.